Hey, what is up ladies and gentlemen, it is your boy Johnny. In today's video, I'm going to teach you how to get the item printer in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet, the Indigo Disc DLC. Now, the item printer is actually a really useful device that's in this game, and it's probably one of my favorite ones out of the DLC that you can unlock. Um, so, first of all, you're going to want to go to the League Club room, and you will end up unlocking this at a certain point while you're playing the story to be able to access the League Club room. And then you're going to want to go into this computer here where it says contribute BP and there's going to be a task where it's around 200 BP points and you're going to want to get it and it'll basically unlock the item printer. It'll tell you there that there's an item printer to be unlocked and this lady will show up and give you like a cutscene uh, and it'll tell you I want to print the items and stuff like that um, and everything like that. However, you want to make it better. We got to make this better. So she needs to collect more data for it. So we're going to go ahead and print some items right now um, to see how it works. As you guys know, um, you got to start printing off with some BP um, stuff as well. You need some BP points in order to print. So the higher you go on the BPs, the, the better chances are. So let's just do a random one out of here to see. All right, so there's the 12 percent, then there's the 30 percent. You want to look for the the better ones. Um, you want to go all the way to 1,000 percent. You're gonna need to collect a bunch of stuff here. So the higher, the better. Chances are for better items. I think I went a little bit too overboard here, but basically that is 100%. And this will cost 50 B points, no biggie for me. Let's go ahead and use it. So at the first times, it's going to give you probably worse items. As you guys can see, it didn't really give me the better items. We're going to talk to the lady again. I want to make it better. So, you need to continue printing items in order to keep increasing it. Alright, so let's just keep doing this, increasing it. All right, we're going to contribute more BP. You can also press auto select if you don't want to go throughout everything. Alright, so let's continue doing more print jobs. This is going to take a while. You just got to keep doing the print jobs until you're finally able to upgrade. I know it takes a while. But I am going to select auto select. Let's do 10 more as well. And make sure to have a lot of BP because this is going to take a while. We got to get it to increase so it can become a better printer. Oh, okay, so we got a shiny one. We got a rare item there. A big nugget. Okay. I'll take it. You really put the printer through its paces. In fact, I have enough data now to make some improvements. 
All right, let's make the improvements. She has more data. This is going to allow you to get more better items as well. And this is where the BP comes in handy. Two, they also add a 2x time item bonus function. You should might get double the items. Also, I hope it doesn't help the item printer work any better, but I made it look like a great ball. Now, let's get it done. All right, so we're going to continue doing this until she collects more data. You can still continue upgrading it. You're going to want to upgrade it as much as you can. Okay, it kind of froze for some reason. I don't know why it did that. All right, so the game is kind of buggy. We're going to go out again, and we're going to go back to here. You're going to continue printing until she allows you to upgrade it. You're going to need a lot of material. It's just going to continue with a lot of material. All right, we're going to go talk to the lady again. I don't know why it froze on me. It's really weird. Sometimes it happens. It can be glitchy. All right. So, yeah, it's pretty weird in the beginning. And also, it's going to start costing less BP. I recommend you do it to a thousand. As long as you have... As long as you have material, always make sure to get that material in the different areas in the game. You usually get them through the story. Keep doing rounds of them until you're able to do it. I'm gonna auto select more. We're gonna print more until we get it to be able to upgrade. Right now we're in a great ball. So as you guys may know, we're not getting the best items yet because we still got to upgrade more. <laughs> you got to continue using it. I know it takes a while. It's kind of tedious. But eventually... Ooh, this one's a good batch. This might allow us to upgrade next. You got Flame more, Big Nugget again. Let's see if she lets me upgrade it. No. We got all the BP in the world. It's just, uh, <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna run out of items. <laughs> items I most likely didn't need. Let's go again. Let's do it again. go it's gonna give us the upgrade we really put the item printer through a winger I say it's ready for another upgrade I want to make it better it'll cost 500 make sure to upgrade again and the new pokeball lotto feature function could give you a shot at printing rare pokeball also, it doesn't help that the printer works any better. It made it look like an ultra ball. Alright, so we're going to upgrade it again. And I think the next one will probably be the master ball. Let's see if I... Nope. 
So it starts getting more expensive, more BP. But you start getting more items, more rare items. Always want to contribute the 10 as well. Gonna take a few tries. So I'm gonna leave it running for a bit. All right, as you guys can see, finally we're gonna get the Master Ball upgrade. Thank you for making heavy use of the item printer. I should be able to work on it and get its final version. It'll cost you a thousand BP points to make improvements on it. 
just we just happen to have it and we'll get to the master ball upgrade and it can print stellar shards as well all right there we go now uh it does give you the pokeball lotto but unfortunately that's like a lottery, so you're going to have to get lucky um, if you want to get the lotto. But basically, this is the final upgrade to it. And at the end of the day, you're going to get all the final upgrades until you get the Master Ball. So just keep using the BPs and everything for everything. Um, unfortunately, the uh, the Pokey... What was what, what it called? The Pokey Lotto? is uh it's only it's not gonna be guaranteed every single time so it'll eventually pop up and when you get the pokeball lotto you'll see you'll see like different colors and telling you that you basically won something um and better stuff like that but unfortunately we haven't gotten it but as you guys can see we're getting a little bit of better items now um from the pokeball item printer and let's go again and do one more. This is probably the last one I'm going to do because you can't really upgrade it anymore. But um, if you get the Pokeball Lotto, it's kind of like the lottery. Um, you're definitely going to get something more better as well. But that's pretty much it. Uh, this is what it does. It gives you a bunch of items. Um, if you want to try it out by yourself. If you want to... Oh, we got the Pokeball Lotto. Or the 2x item bonuses. So you get these item bonuses here as well. So, for example, you start getting it for the bonus as well, and then you can get the Pokeball Lotto. So, so as you guys can see, I got like more items out of nowhere from that as well. Those are the kind of bonuses you want to get from this. But it, it does waste a lot of BP, but it's really nice to have as well. So it's going to waste your items a lot, your material, but it's definitely worth it. Um, unfortunately, we didn't get the Pokeball Lotto, but we got the two item bonuses, which did give me that item as well. I hear that some people have gotten extra Master Balls from this as well. So yeah, it's a pretty neat device. Anyways, guys, thank you for watching this video. I hope you have a nice day.